Hello, welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. How are you? As per the norm, I hope you're doing really well. So no beer review in this video, but I do have a beer on the go and it is German. It's the Weinstefana and it's the Hefeweizen Dunkel. And it's very nice. It is a very, very nice indeed. So I'm gonna have a slurp. That's a good beer. Anyway, the video, thumbnail's obvious what this video is about. It's about the Oktoberfest Fest Beer Box from Lidl. There's been a lot of content on it, uh, which I'm really pleased about. I think it's fantastic how many videos there have been. Lots of people have been reviewing the beers. I think I only reviewed one, two, I think I only reviewed two of them. Uh, I did review more. I think I reviewed about six in total and I had them in a box on my phone. And somehow I deleted that box. I, I've lost them all. Hence, I only did, I think, two, maybe three max reviews out of this box. Um, but yeah, there's been a lot, a lot of talk about this box, isn't there? We've all seen it. And uh, I thought I would just give you my final thoughts on it as I have now drunk all 10 bottles in there. For me, I, I think this, this box, it's a lovely looking box. Really fantastic presentation on that. As we take it along uh, i think the look of that box the whole presentation the style of that nice carry handle wow uh, all on the back as well uh I, I think it's fantastic i thought it was an absolutely cracking looking box and 25 pound let's call it 25 pound for 10 beers I, I thought it was really good i thought it is good value and yeah, it works out £2.50 per bottle. I think that was good value. There's, uh, there's Obviously, there's a couple of big brands in there that we all know about, but the rest I hadn't. Uh, and for Lidl to put this in there, I, I think it's really good for Lidl. I, I was impressed that Lidl put this in there. It, you know, it is quite different. It's very, very different from Lidl. You know, when they do kind of beer festivals, they don't normally do a box of 10. They do with the Belgian, didn't they? The Belgian beer box they do, I think that was... Does that have 12 in it? Uh, and that's a cracking box, the Belgian beer box. But it's about time they started doing more things like this with German beers. And we've got to remember that this is Lidl. This isn't Marks and Spencers. Lidl are not going to go and get the biggest brands because of the, the cost that's going to that's gonna have. You know, they're not Marks and Spencers. They're a budget supermarket. But then both German beers are, are, are not bank breaking beers to buy anyway so little have gone out and have resourced these ones put 10 beers together in a fantastic box you know and sold it at a good price in my opinion what i also liked in the box was you've got this great little booklet in the box as well so it wasn't just about the beers you've got this booklet in the, the box and it's the guide for your beer tasting and it's, it's a pretty decent little book really it talks about hops um you know the green gold, as it's called, hops. It's important for beer. Who's behind, what's behind it? So you get a bit of history about hops and how they're used. You get beer and food pairing, so you can pair your beers to foods. I think that's fantastic as well. Uh, and this page, I think, is really, really good as well. It shows you about different styles and colours of beers, and it kind of breaks, you know, it gives you all the names of them. It tells you the temperatures that it's best to serve that style of beer at. For me, I think that's fantastic. And I'm guessing down this side, we've got what glasses you can put beer in, you know, the, the style of beer for the style of glass. Look, like I'm drinking this uh, vice beer in, in a vice glass. Oh, it's a Dunkle vice, but it's still a vice beer. I think that is fantastic that it, it gives you that. Uh, what, what else that is in here? Taste beer and understand beer. So then it talks to you all about, prep, you know, how you store your beer. You know, about taste, how to taste things, talking about aromas, about mouthfeels. You know, generally a lot of things that beer reviewers talk about, including myself, we talk about mouthfeel and aroma. This talks to you about that and tells you sort of what you should be trying to pick out. So I think that is fantastic. There's a great beer tasting app guide. Uh, what's this app called? Completely redeveloped, blah, blah, blah. Beer tasting app, I think it's just called the beer tasting app. So you can go on an app as well and have a look, look things up. Um, and then it tells you about what other boxes, other beer advent calendars, that, etc. that these people have put this magazine together. 
and oh, there's 12 beers of Christmas, there's a German Oktoberfest box, then we've obviously got this box as you can see on there, different types of boxes and then on the very back page I've got a few spills on mine, someone's about to walk in here, someone lurking around outside the pub shed uh, and on the back there's um, a rate your beers with a naught to five points. The beers with the highest number of points won the tasting. Have fun. So you write the beer name here, and then you've got one, two, three, four, one for the label, so you can score the label, two, the colour and clarity of the head, three, the aroma, four, the taste, and then total points and rank it. And I imagine that you can then put that on the beer tasting app. So that was in the box as well. So, you know, this thought, that's what I like with this box. And, you know, Lidl have obviously gone out, spoken to the right people. There's been a bit of thought gone into it. And so I like it. I think it's been a cracking box. You know, the 10 beers in there, there were a couple that I wasn't, that, I, that just weren't, that weren't for me, that I didn't think were particularly great, but still better than any macro produced crap that we get in this country, such as the likes of Carlin's. Carlsberg's, Madgerie and all that plethora of nonsense. You know, some of those macro beers, some of Carlin, they're just sink pour beers. You know, nothing in here was a sink pour. They were all drinkable beers. There were just a couple that I just thought were not for me. But I've had that with other German beers as well. On a whole, I like German beer. I've been dr drinking German beer for a few years now and I just don't showcase them enough on the channel. And maybe I should, but that's one of the other things I've absolutely loved about this box is it's got everybody talking about German beer. Uh, and, and rightly so, because it's good quality beer. Sometimes I don't review them all because I do sometimes struggle to review German beers because German beers are just made of simple ingredients, but they're made well, you know, they're made to a standard. And you can tell their quality, but sometimes they're just difficult to explain. You're just drinking it, yeah, that's a quality German beer. You know, it's not like a big, bold New England IPA where you can pick out different flavours, etc., etc. You can pick out flavours of German beers, but they're all quite similar. But you can just tell their quality and they're a proper beer, a proper lager, etc. Not like the crap that we get in the UK. So the buzz it's caused, this box, I think, I think has been fantastic. I can guarantee the likes of Trembling Madness have had a hike in sales of German beer. Uh, because people have gone out and have been looking for more German beer. And Trembling Madness is a good place to start. Beers of Europe is another good place to go looking. If you go over to the Craft Beer Hub, but Mark did a video recently at Beers of Europe and picked up a load of German beers. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's great. I think it's great. It's caused a buzz. I think it's great. It's caused so much debate on YouTube, uh, which has all been pretty friendly, uh, which is also really good. And it's just raised awareness of good German beers. And that I think it's fantastic. Okay, so Audi dropped a few uh, German beers. So let's talk about that. So Audi dropped uh, the Paulana Oktoberfest. They dropped a Spaten beer in uh, and one, another one, an Erdinger one, but my local Audi didn't have that. Uh, Two pound a bottle. Great price, absolutely great price. So is this better than Audi's deal? The, to me, that is two separate entities. Audi have just dropped three beers at two quid a bottle. Go and pick up as many as you want, you know, your choice. Um, and that, you know, they are quality beers at two quid. That is a fantastic price, a superb price for those beers. But this you had 10 beers in a beautiful box with a book and you get to taste beers that you, German beers that you probably wouldn't have done. So for me, there's no one beats the other. They've both just done a reasonably good, well, a good job this year. And for me, I hope it continues. I hope Audi pick up on the success that Lidl have had with this and they start producing things of a similar nature. And I hope Lidl, have, you know, really lock on to the fact that they've sold tons of this and think that worked. Let's bring something else next year in similar and try and make it possibly even better. Uh, and that would be amazing. So for me, it's been a win-win all round. It's been an absolute win. Uh, for everybody. So yeah, that's my final thoughts on the uh, little box. We're coming up to 10 minutes, way too long. <laughs> I'm done. I will see you all soon. Put something in the comments, I'll reply. Ta-da.